Hey guys, I want to do a video on a plant that I'm growing in my garden that you're probably not very familiar with. It's a Sicilian squash. Uh, it's called Guguzza, and uh, this is how you spell it right here. Um, it's very easy to grow. The seeds usually germinate in about uh, roughly two weeks, one to two weeks. And the neat thing about this plant is not only can you eat the squash, but the leaves also. They're called tenerumi. And uh, that means they're very tender. Um, so it grows like a vine. And like most of your squash. Um, so you want to build a trellis like I did here. And it will crawl up the trellis and these will start growing out of there. And I'll show you up close what they look like and how they grow and, and how to pollinate them. Alright guys, this is a guguza right here. The Sicilian squash. Uh, the best time to pick them is around two, two and a half feet long. If you let them grow any longer, like close to three feet on this particular variety, um, the outside of the squash uh, becomes very hard and the inside gets very seedy. Uh, you get a lot of seeds in there and not much, you know, of the flesh to eat inside. Um, so best time, two, two and a half feet long um, is the best time to pick them. And you can see here, I got another one growing here. And I got one way down there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There it is. And I got another one right there. And I got a few of them. Got one hanging right there, right in the middle. That one I'll probably pick in a couple of days. They grow really fast. Once they get going, they just take off. And you can see the top of my trellis here, how they just, the vines are just growing everywhere. Um, and it's a neat plant to grow. Uh, uh, it's kind of fun to grow actually and watch them, you know, watch the uh, squash grow. Uh, in fact, I got one right on top here. I just laid them out so they wouldn't hang. Maybe I'll try it, see how it grows on top of here. The smaller one there. So, I'll show you how to uh, hand pollinate these uh, next. All right, now I prefer hand pollinating uh, my Sicilian squash rather than waiting for the bees to do it. Uh, this way you're pretty much assured that you're going to get the squash to grow. But uh, how the Kukutsa plant works is you have the female flower, which is this one here, and you have your male flower, which is this one here. Now the difference between it is the male has just a stem and the flower, okay? But the female has the stem and it's got a little squash and then the flower and this one's also the uh, female here so I'll show you how to hand pollinate these all right generally when I pick the male flower I go to a different plant for some reason they don't like the, the, the pollen from the same plant uh, it will work but I guess the uh, they don't like it as much so go to a different plant if you have more than one growing find a male flower and pick it okay and then take the petals off and inside you're gonna see something like that and then take that all off okay so you should end up looking with something like this now this is the male come on in here now what you do is move the female petals uh, away and you're going to see something like this it's got like three uh, I forgot what you call those but anyway there's three of those and you just touch the male to the female and the pollen will go all over those and you've just pollinated your kugutsa and that's it and now this will start growing and growing and turn into a big long squash now, if you don't pollinate them or if the bees don't pollinate them, this will end up shriveling up and dying. All right, and that's how you hand pollinate them.
All right, I have this one here. It's about ready to pick. Um, this should be good enough to eat. So, and that's it. Now, how you prepare this is uh, what my wife and I do is get a potato, a potato peeler and you just clean off the uh, skin a little bit, cut the ends off, and, and then chop it up in chunks, maybe one, one and a half inch chunks, pretty good size. Um, and you do the same thing with your onions, chop it in big, big chunks, tomatoes, same deal, big chunks, throw some garlic uh, in a pot, you're going to throw all this in a pot. So you're going to cut this into chunks, your onions also, tomatoes, uh, throw some uh, chopped up garlic in there, and olive oil, a good amount of olive oil. And you let this cook down for maybe a half hour or so, just keep an eye on it, maybe a little, maybe a little more. Uh, and what this is going to, it's going to cook down into like a stew. Okay, uh, you put your salt and pepper in there too if you want. Um, so after that, you can put that stew on pasta, on if you're, you know, in, uh, on your chicken breasts, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, but what we also do is when it's just about done, the, the stew, maybe the last 10, 12 minutes, whatever. You can either you can use Swiss chard, or take the leaves of the of the cucuzza plant, but more near the ends. They're called tenerumi. That means they're very tender, um, like these here. You take the, the the leaves or the the last part of the stem. You cut them off. You get a good you know a good bunch of them, and you throw it in there. Okay, after you wash and rinse them, of course. Throw it in there, and those will cook down within 10 minutes, too. Um, and, uh, yeah, you put that on your pasta, boy. Oh, my goodness, it's delicious. But anyways, uh, I hope uh, hope you guys learned something new, so, something new to grow in your garden. Uh, for, those of you, for those of you that have cooked these before and grow them, uh, you know what I'm talking about. They're delicious. So, yeah. Hope uh, you've enjoyed this and uh, learned something new. And, and uh, you can or you can buy the seeds from these online on eBay or wherever. Uh, they're not that expensive. Um, like I said, it takes about uh, up to two weeks to germinate. If they haven't come out by then, you might as well plant another one in there. Um, so yeah, hope you liked this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.